Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at AstampAbove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. This week's Wait What video is going to show you the sliding gift card. These have been around for a little while, well maybe a long while, but I've, I've, I've seen them before. And I've never made one, so I decided to give it a try and oh my gosh, it is so simple. So I thought this was the perfect type of little gift card holder to use with my Smitten Mitten stamp set, which I might add, I've had a blast with. So let's get started and I'll show you how really easy these are. They're very, very simple. There's only really two pieces that you need to cut for the gift card holder that I made. This one is two and three quarters by five and a quarter and it's Whisper White. And then I'm using the Be Merry Designer Series paper. This is beautiful Christmas paper. It has like a Christmas design on one side and then just um, tiny images on the other. So you could use it for something other than Christmas. And I love that about our Designer Series paper. The Be Merry layer is 11 inches long by four inches wide and we're gonna score that in a minute. The rest of these pieces are just scraps and the colors that match the Be Merry Designer Series paper are Garden Green and Cherry Cobbler. So I've got Whisper White and those two colors. I'm gonna set those aside for right now and show you how to do the scoring on this. Bringing in my Stampin' Trimmer we are going to take the Whisper White layer and we're going to score it at a half an inch. Just like that. Super simple so far, right? <laughs> okay, the other piece we are going to score at two and a quarter. And now this is where you want to be careful. If you have a um, piece of designer series paper that goes in one direction, meaning like let's say all little Christmas trees that are standing up like this, you need to figure out which way you need to score this to make your gift card holder. I would probably put a definite pattern like that on the inside of my holder versus the outside because we have a flap that comes down like this and all your Christmas trees will be upside down if that's what's on your paper. So these mittens are all very random which is great for this type of a project. Again, we're going to start that first score line at two and a quarter and then seven and a half. Okay, next we have to score the sides. And the score lines for the sides are very simple. You just score at a half an inch on both sides. We could take our scissors then and cut off the side tabs, but instead, what I like to do is use my paper trimmer to cut longer areas like this. So I am going to set my scoring blade aside and I'm going to cut up to this score line that's at seven and a half inches. Then I'm gonna pick this up and come back down and I'm gonna feel my other score line is at two and a quarter. And I'm going to go past that and go down to about the four inch mark. And this is not definite here with the cutting. I mean, you could go a little less or a little more. So then what we're gonna have is this and this. And again, you can take your scissors and cut this, but I'm just making it easier on myself. We're gonna score again at a half an inch here on the other side, and then I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to come in, well you probably can't see way down here, can you? I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut the side tab up to the same height, and that would be about seven inches. So I've cut that, and now I'm gonna come up to the top and I'm just going to cut to that first score line, which is now at three and a half. So if that's too confusing, I'll show you one where I didn't cut it with my paper cutter. Here's another one. So we're going to score it two and a quarter. Make sure I get that cutting blade out of the way. And seven and a half. And then I'm going to come in and score at a half an inch. Turn it around and score at a half an inch again. This is where we would now bring in our scissors and cut the tabs off that I have already cut with my paper trimmer. I like to do that when I have long areas to cut because this is a little secret and I've not really shared it with anybody. I'm not really good at those long cuts. 
<laughs> Cutting long pieces and making them perfectly straight, you know how precise things have to be when you're stamping, is kind of hard. So I just cut these two off at an angle. Super easy, right? And now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut that off and I'm gonna cut that off. Yay us. That's just how easy it is. We're gonna move our paper trimmer out of the way here. The next thing I need to do is round the corners on my tab that's gonna fold down, okay? And you could have a corner rounder punch, whatever corner rounder you use. I love to use the envelope punch board because it gives me a perfect, perfect corner every time. And it can go through a few layers at a time too if you have more than one layer. So I like that tool. All right, now we are just going to burnish our score lines. This paper is so cute. I'm starting to get in the mood for Christmas, even though, you know, it's the beginning of November. It's kind of hard for me to get into that early. There we go. Super simple. Now, you could use glue here. I'm just going to use some Fast Fuse. Remember when you use fast foods, you always have to do that little check mark at the end so you don't get strings of adhesive running all over the place. And voila, <laughs> pretty simple, right? Now this little piece, I have to do a little stamping on. And besides the Smitten Mitten stamp set, let me show you that. This is a bundle, so you get all of these little mitten images and you get all of these framelits. And I have a few framelits out that I'll show you in a second. But this little bundle is awesome. And I will not only be making Christmas projects with this, but I am also going to get a jump start on my December, January, February birthdays. And thank you cards because it's a winter theme and it's not just about Christmas here. I love when you can use a stamp set for more than it's really was intended for, right? The other stamps that I'm using, I'm using the Enjoy word out of the tags and trimmings, and I just wanted a nice word to put on the inside of my card. Any Merry Christmassy type thing will work for you. And then I'm using, again, the stitched shapes. You get 12 different dies in the set for $30. My littlest circle I have out because we're using it. Squares, ovals, circles. You guys see me use this almost every card I make. I, I just can't help myself. This set of framelit dies, along with the layering circles, layering ovals, layering squares, is like the best, hottest item in my stash. I use it constantly. So if you don't have this, you can order this from me. You will never regret that you get this pack. All right, enough, enough about that. I always like to share when I have something that works super, super good for me because as stampers, I know we all do it. We buy stuff and then we don't use it. That's discouraging, but I'll tell you, those framelits, use them constantly. Okay, I'm using Cherry Cobbler ink here. Um, don't forget, we scored it a half an inch up here on this layer. So I'm gonna stamp my joy just as close to that score line as possible. Isn't that cute? I just love that. It's big and it's chunky and it's fun. And that came from Tags and Trimmings, which is just a really fun stamp set. All right, I am going to fold on our score line. We're going to burnish this. And I'm going to add some fast fuse here. <laughs> Are you ready for how simple this is? Fold your little tab back out. We're gonna put this inside of our gift card holder. Okay, as I was trying to slide this in here, I realized I gave you the wrong dimension on this. This is five by two and three quarters scored at a half inch because it wouldn't fit. So there we go, five inches. Now I am going to line this up with my score line right here, the top of my layer, and then I'm gonna center it and all you do, remember this is not folded over, is close your card and now you have this little sliding mechanism. Isn't that cute? Okay, now what are we gonna do with the inside of that? We're gonna make it a gift card holder, and I just happen to have one of these old Stampin' Up! gift cards that I use on my projects as props, I guess you could say. I just put a couple mini glue dots on the back of that, 
and I'm going to set this down in here, press it, and now you're gonna have your cute little gift card pop out. <laughs> Who doesn't love to play with a moving card? <laughs> okay, so there's the basics of this. I'm gonna show you how I made the rest of the card. Um, so if you wanna stick around for that, that's great. I'll give you some tips on these other elements. I'm gonna bring our little scraps back in here. And I've got this little flower that I'm going to stamp and die cut. I have Versamark ink here and some white embossing powder. And I'm going to stamp my smitten right on this garden green layer. I'm going to come in here with my white embossing powder and then I've just got a little piece of typing weight paper here folded in half to catch my powder. I always like to kind of blow on these and that kind of gets that extra powder off of there if you need to. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes there's no extra powder left over, but this time there was a little bit. And then we're going to hit it with our heat tool. I love seeing that turn glossy because it's just like magic. <laughs> Who doesn't love magic? I'm gonna cut this layer out with my stitch shape circle. And here comes my little solid mitten. And then I've got my detailed mitten here. Now, one of the cool things I like to do when I am cutting out a bunch of this stuff, I've got my magnetic platform in here so it'll hold everything in place. I'm using the smallest circle. This mitten works better if you run it through your machine like this versus like this. Any of our dies work better if they're longer than they are wide. Run them through the long way because you've got less pressure going on each part of your image. It just cuts out better. This is a lot of metal, right? So there's your tip for the day. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna pop this one in here and get that set up. And now I can run these all through my machine at the same time. I'll be right back. Okay, and here we go. Here's all of our die cuts. The mitten, the smitten, <laughs> and this little mitten. This one has a lot of little intricate pieces in it, so I like to use my Big Shot die brush. And again, you guys, if you don't have one of these, get yourself one. You can go right to my Stampin' Up! store and order one, they're worth their weight in gold. Look at all those little pieces it took out. If there's any left in here, I just hold it up and do this, and it looks like we got all of them. I'm gonna poke my pokey tool right here and pull my cute little mitten. Out of there, and we're ready to rock. Now, I used a little bit of glue on my mitten to glue it to the green layer and I'm just going to put some on each side and the bottom here. You don't need to get too crazy with the glue. Oops, hold this up, stack it. Easy peasy, right? Super easy. Then, that was a lot of easies. I need to back off on that a little bit. What do you think? <laughs> here comes a mini dimensional and our little poinsettia flower. We're also going to put a couple, I'll just keep using these minis, could use bigger dimensionals on here. I'm going to get this ready to rock. And we need a couple dimensionals on our mitten. Now, you don't want to put a dimensional way up at the top, so I'm probably going to add one right there, and then I'm going to put one right about here, right on my card front because, oh, I didn't, I'm like, did I take that backing off? I did not. Okay, because this is gonna help hold your gift card lid shut, or cover, or front, how about that? It's gonna hold it shut, 
it tucks in there nicely, so that's why you don't want a dimensional way at the top of your mitten. And last but not least, I have this gorgeous double stitched ribbon. This is Cherry Cobbler and it's got these little X's on it that I think are so cute. I've got a 10 inch length of that. This is another one of Stampin' Up's biggest assets is all of their matching ribbon and paper and markers and ink and oh my gosh, you name it, embellishments. I just love that that makes, oh, did you see what I did? Oh, I'll get that off in a second. <laughs> Don't take the backs off your dimensionals. That's dangerous. It makes everything so much easier when you're creating with color coordinating products. There we go. I've got my... I'm going to twist this around a little bit because I want my little X's to be on top, right? And now I'm going to take this and move that over to the side. I'm going to get that dimensional off the back of my card. <laughs> Whoops! And we need one more there. The danger of taking the back off of dimensionals. I could do a whole series on that, all the mess ups I've done <laughs> by doing that, but it just makes it easier later, not now. And here's our little smitten. And there we go. Super cute, right? This tucks in here. Love it. Super, super cute. Let me show you. I've got a couple more things that I've made with the Smitten Mittens. Remember this card that I showed you? I used a sheet, a window sheet with the Winter Wonder embossing folder there and our um, Christmas Around the World designer series paper. This up here shows there's elements in this framelit set that just emboss. So like this little element, it just embosses. This one just embosses, this cable embosses, and this is some more ribbing for the top of the mittens that emboss. So we've got die cuts and things that emboss there, and I thought that was really cool. So I've got that one, and then here's another one I made with window sheet in the background in the holly embossing folder, if you can see that. This is our new jute trim, that's awesome. Cute, cute, cute. This is just a really, really, oops, what's that? That looks like a piece of Cheetos. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Here's the inside of this one too. Super, super cute. Cute little bundle. Love, love, love this little set. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today for my video. I appreciate that you took time out of your busy day to spend a little bit of it with me. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I'd be happy to send you our current catalogs. You can find me at stampabove.com. You'll find all kinds of great ideas on my blog. I'll also be posting all the dimensions and photos of this gift card. I'm off to Salt Lake City this week. I'm super excited. I've got a million things to do before I can get ready. I can't wait to see all the new ideas that Stampin' Up! provides us with and see my wonderful friends. I've made so many friends over the years doing this crazy ink and paper business. If you don't follow me on Facebook, you might want to head on over to my Facebook business page and click on like because I'm hoping to do a Facebook Live from Utah and share some of that excitement with you. I'm hoping. Can't promise anything, but I'm hoping. All right, you guys. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.